voglio ringraziare Arepo, Euromontana e Origin. Hello, first of all I would like to thank the organizers for this opportunity to participate to this very important conference today. I would like to share with you the um, experience of our producers uh, consortium, um, the producers of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano. I am a, a milk producer for Parmigiano Reggiano. My uh, company is in Casteldagliano. It is uh, near Bologna in 800 meter altitude, a typical uh, company of the milk uh, sector of the area with approximately uh, 90 uh, animals, uh, production of 700, to 700 tons per year. I also work with a cooperative uh, which is uh, called um, uh, Canvaccia. Uh, it processes milk into Parmigiano Reggiano, uh, PDO and Market. Uh, in the Parmigiano Reggiano system, mountain production is very important. In fact, it accounts for about 20% of the total PDO production. Um, in figures, uh, we are talking about uh, 862,000 wheels of uh, cheese produced in 2023 by 83 dairies and 830 milk producers. Uh, it means uh, 350 million uh, euros in economic terms. Uh, we are one of the most important uh, mountain uh, PDO. Um, thanks to the offer regulation plan in 2014, the protection potential of the mountains has been safeguarded and production in the mountains has not been declining. But the issue of the economic sustainability of mountain production remains. Uh, in fact, uh, the uh, production of uh, milk and parmigiano reggiano cheese in mountain area is uh, much more expensive than in lowland areas as you can see in the screen there is uh, it is about uh, 0 0.7 0 0.9 euros per kilogram of cheese and uh, what about the uh, compensation of those higher costs so, which is why we decided to establish this consortium to exploit the um, benefits of uh, regulation and to give a concrete response to economic valorization. This project started um, from um, the field with um, all stakeholders, and it is based on two pillars, uh, uh, certification and valorization. We um, worked based on regulations 1151 and 665 additional requirements has been laid down to create the preconditions for valorization. For example, a minimum maturation period of uh, 20 months. Uh, also, we uh, check the organoleptic quality of the product. Then we ask for uh, an indication of the uh, producing dairy on the packaging. Uh, based on the certification, um, the pillars of valorization were defined uh, by linking it to a specific logo granted only to producers and operators. We have activated uh, investment in um, communication and uh, promotion. Now I would like to talk about uh, uh, our results. Uh, First of all, on the supply side, we have aggregated and involved an important group of producers. Today, we have 35 dairy producers with more than 220,000 wheels of cheese per year. As far as market valorization is concerned, the trend is uh, in demand 
continues to grow. The product has been included by many distribution chains and used by many traders. The logo is now beginning to be um, known. However, the limitation in the market has not yet managed to pass on a satisfactory premium to producers, but we are convinced that with the support of the communication and valorization actions uh, we have made uh, through this uh, consortium, we are going to be able to address this um, difficulty. In conclusion, the assessment of the uh, innovation introduced uh, by the EU is very positive. However, I would like to tell you on behalf of all producers involved, I would like to, um, to emphasize on uh, the major barrier to concrete trade today. In, it is the presence on the market of many products products that use the term mountain without it uh, having any connection in reality with uh, the mountain. This creates confusion uh, amongst consumers and creates unfair competition. Therefore, we hope that the European Commission and the Member States will intervene in order to improve the conditions, the conditions to promote true mountain products. Thank you.